Math 13, 14, Tyler Junior College, section 3.2, polynomial functions, x-intercepts and multiplicities. On the board, you see two graphs that I concluded with at the end of the previous video, and the functions that are associated with them. Now these aren't the original functions that I, that I started with, but rather they're factored forms. I believe this one was x to the third power plus 9x to the second power minus 3x minus 27. And this one, if multiplied out, was x to the fourth power minus 18x to the second power plus 81. But the dilemma we, we ran into at the end of the last video was when we, saw, when we found the x-intercepts by putting each function equal to zero, Putting this function equal to zero implies that x equals negative three and x equals three, so those were our x-intercepts. And the same thing over here. Putting g of x equal to zero implies that x equals negative three and x equals positive three. So we had the same x-intercepts, but not all x-intercepts behave the same. Sometimes x-intercepts, you cross and go to the other side. Sometimes you're like, ah, never mind. You touch it and turn. And the question we were left with at the end of the previous video was can we predict in advance when, and when the behavior of an x-intercept is to cross as opposed to touch and turn? And the answer is of course there is. Otherwise I wouldn't have brought it up. But in order to discuss how you can predict if a graph will cross the x-axis at an x-intercept versus touch it and turn, I need to introduce two terms to you. One of which I could have introduced a long time ago, but better late than never. It's called the zero, <coughs> excuse me, zero of a function f of x. A zero of a function is any value, we'll call it c, satisfying f of c equals zero. So relative to a function, a zero is an input that produces an output of zero. So for example, in this first, and both of these actually, both of these values, negative 3 and 3, these are zeros of f of x. If I put 3 into this function, it will make this factor 0 and therefore the whole product 0. If I put, three in, if I put negative 3 into the first factor, I get 0. If I put 3 into the second factor, I get 0, which makes the whole product 0. Similarly, for g of x, the zeros were also... The zeros of g of x were also negative 3 and 3, because if I substitute either into g of x, I get 0. So again, a 0 of a function is any input that causes an output of 0. Now, the multiplicity of a 0 is the power on the factor, power on the factor that produced a zero. So in other words, the power. Now, there is a uh, more rigorous definition of multiplicity, but it requires calculus, so we won't discuss it. So every time you have a zero, it has a multiplicity. So I'm going to make a table here that lists the zeros and the multiplicity. It's going to be a very short table, two by two. The first zero was three, and the second zero was negative three. But what are their multiplicities? Well, the three came from this factor. Now, what's the power on this factor? It's an implied power of one. Multiplicity is the power on the factor that produced the zero. So this 3 has a multiplicity of 1. But what about negative 3? Negative 3 came from the first factor, and its power is 2. So the multiplicity is the power on the factor that produced the 0. So the multiplicity of negative 3 is 2. Sorry, I'm erasing with a finger, and I'm just making a big mess. The multiplicity of negative 3 is, negative, is 2. Now, before we move over here, let's describe the intercept behavior. third row, it's a little wider because I'm going to write some words. At, at, at three, did we cross the x-axis or touch and turn? We crossed. We crossed.
cross. They cross the x-axis. But what happened at a zero of negative three? We didn't cross. We touched the x-axis and turn. So we touch the x-axis and turn. Or you could say more succinctly, touch and turn. Let's do the same thing over here. List the zero, list the multiplicity, and then state the intercept behavior. Intercept behavior is my own phrase, but I call it that to liking it to end behavior. How do the ends behave? How do the x-intercepts behave? I think this time I'll put negative 3 first in 3 seconds since that's the order they're in here and the order they're in here. It's irrelevant. So let's start with negative 3. That 0 came from this factor that had a power of 2. Since the multiplicity is the factor on the power that produces a 0, the multiplicity of negative 3 is 2. In fact, both of these multiplicities are 2 because both of these zeros came from factors whose powers were two. And what's the intercept behavior on both of them? They both touch the x-axis and turn. So we'll just say touch and turn for brevity. Touch and turn. So, do you see it? Do you see what characteristic of multiplicity might predict crossing the x-axis versus touching and turning. The only one that crossed the x-axis had a multiplicity of 1. The others touched and turned and all had multiplicities of 2. Uh, it's just, just for full disclosure, it's bad math to make such a broad generalization with such a small uh, number of examples, but in this case we will be correct. The characteristic that determines x-intercept behavior is the parity of the multiplicity. Remember, parity means whether a number is odd or even. Specifically, when the multiplicity is odd, you will cross the x-axis. But when the multiplicity is even, you will touch and turn. That's worth writing. If a zero has an odd multiplicity, comma, the graph will cross the x-axis if a zero has an even multiplicity the graph will touch the x-axis and turn the graph will touch the x-axis and turn. So you just got to remember odd crosses even touches and turns. Now if you're worried about keeping those sorted out about odd crossing versus even touching and turning you just need a couple of simple examples to remember and there's not much simpler examples than f of x equals x squared and f of x equals x cubed. f of x equals x squared is our base parabola which touches and turns because the, de the degree and the multiplicity would both be even. Whereas f of x equals x cubed is our cubic, starts low, hits the, the origin and keeps going. Odd degree, the only x-intercept is zero. Zero is a zero of this function and its multiplicity is three. In other words, odd. So even touches and turns, odd crosses. If you need a, a fallback to remember.